I said that. I said the same one. <laughs> <laughs> you said two words. Have you guys heard of uh, gay for pay? Guys that are gay for pay. You know, I say uh, maybe take the pay cut and fuck some pussy. That's the idea. You know, I believe that. Maybe stop getting Starbucks every morning and don't take dick against your will. Um, good rule of thumb. Um, I just found out I love sucking titties. <laughs> It's a little weird though. It's a little weird. It's it's the only thing that makes you feel like a man and a baby at the same time. <laughs> I'm tired of girls making up phrases. You know, they have uh, phrases like uh, gaslighting, you know, breadcrumbing, breaking and entering. You know? I'm just trying to live my life, you know? I was at the bar a couple nights ago. Bartender, she had, you know, green hair, rainbow necklace. Far, far from anorexic, but. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was kind of a vibe, really, but yeah, you can tell her politics just by the way she looked. Uh, you know, night ends, she has to close me out. She grabs a card and she comes up to me and she goes, uh, uh, Diego? My name's not Diego. I'm not even Hispanic. I just, got, I just got racially profiled by a social justice warrior. Fucking, I was smiling ear to ear, dude. She's ready to give me reparations. She felt terrible. Uh, grinding, grinding is always cool. You know, you can grind on a skateboard, on a rail. That's pretty sick. You can grind at the gym. That's dedicated. I grind on a guy. I'm gay now. Grinder's good. Grinder's good. I got my cat. I got my cat. I got my dad on Grindr in high school, dude. I come home and he's like, hey, do you know any good like music apps? Uh, dude, check out Grindr, it's great. You know, download Grindr. He, like, he comes home from work the next day, he's like, dude, I told all my friends at work to download Grindr. Now, now they think I'm fake married to your mom. <laughs> it's a true story. Um, I went to a rave uh, two weeks ago, uh, Phoenix Lights. It's a good time. Uh, I watched a girl uh, have her first DMT experience. Imagine like your first step into the spiritual realm, surrounded by a thousand drunk, barely legal assholes. You know, you get to commune with God, but it's not the cool God. It's like the girl boss, gay Ariana Grande God. You know, she gives you shitty advice, like, uh, you know, you're perfect the way you are. Don't ever change. It's like the cool, the cool God, he said, he, he, he demands something of you. He says, you're not perfect. Cut off your foreskin. <laughs> yeah. That's not uh, I just got really into taking uh, ice baths. Uh, if you don't know what that is, um, it's where you jump in a tub full of Border Patrol agents. <laughs> uh, this is cool. I keep doing it. Um, I'll call it there, guys. I'm Curtis Lee. Thanks for listening. Yeah.